Hey everyone, it's Italian coming to you from my bedroom in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia, and this is Five Girls, Five Minutes, where five girls talk for five minutes and donate it. So yeah, welcome to Five Girls, Five Minutes, where five girls talk for five minutes and don't edit the videos. It's Wednesday, I'm Tally, I think I said that backwards, and I've got lots of things to say and lots of questions to answer and lots of things to talk about. So, I'm going to be talking really, really fast, and I apologize for the amount of fast talking that will be contained in this video. So, let's start with questions. Um, Ryan wanted to know, what books are we reading? Um, I am currently reading The Ghost of Ashbury High by Jacqueline Moriarty, who is one of my favorite authors. It's amazing. This is just the cover. The book is right here. I take covers off of books when I read them. That's just something interesting about me. Uh, maybe that's not interesting. I love these books. I've read um, the first three, and I've read her other book, um, The Spell Book of Liz and Taylor. I recommend them all. Feeling Sorry for Celia, The Year of Secret Assignments, and The Murder of Bindi McKenzie. Um, they're absolutely amazing. I started reading it last night. Like, I'm like 150 pages in, and then it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, and I had to put it down. Um, books um, that I need to read, I'm going to read next, Darkly, um, Dearly Devoted Dexter by Jeff Lindsay, because I just finished reading, that's backwards, uh, Darkly Dreaming Dexter, I love Dexter, um, I also thought the books were fantastic, love the books, the books are amazing. Um, also, Ryan loved your little your video and if I'm ever too lazy to go, I mean if I'm ever too like to be on screen, I'm definitely going to do that. Although I don't know if I have enough commitment to do something as crazy and awesome as that. Um, okay, um, Sarah wanted to know what about our first time on the internet. I do not remember my first time on the internet. I don't believe we had AOL. Um, but I do remember going over to my friend's houses who had AOL and I remember like on all like the things is like you could go to like nick.com, AOL keyword Nick or whatever. Um, and um, I do remember that we had dial-up, so if you were going on the internet, you had to tell the whole house not to pick up the phone because you were going to be on the internet and that would disconnect the internet. Um, I do remember the first time I saw Google. I mean, it's not like the most vivid memory, but I do remember it. I was in class when I was re we were researching something and we were in a compu the computer lab. The person next to me opens up Google as a search engine, which I'd never seen before, and he typed in something and then he was like, wow, look at all those O's. I've got lots of results because it would be like Google with like each O being a page. I don't know if they still do that. Uh, they kind of reformatted everything. Um, then Itzel asked if we draw or do anything artistic um, or creative. Shazam. Um, no, I drew that, that I, someone else drew that and then I painted it, um, which is, it's a Scotty dog, which is my school mascot. And um, to show other creative things that the best way instead of looking for papers and folders upon folders of papers of various notes and sketches and things. Thought I'd just show you the most easy, the easiest way for me to show you this would just be to show you my desktop. Um, I drew that a long time ago. And um, let's see what else have I drawn. Then there's this, which is like this comic I did about Spring Awakening and Rocky Horror. So I guess the answer to the do you draw a question would be no. Do I attempt to draw? Yes. Um, mostly what I do is the writing and songs and things. And speaking of songs and things and exciting things, and I'm totally out of frame and I'm sorry. Um, I got a, when I was gone, I got a letter from 20th Century Fox trying to like block out my address. I guess. But from 20th Century Fox with a $300 check for my How I Met Your Mother song because they're free recording it and it's definitely going to be on season 5 How I Met Your Mother DVD gag reel, which is really, really exciting. Um, I write a lot. I do NaNoWriMo. I've done NaNoWriMo for the past three years. One NaNoWriMo for the past three years. Written songs about NaNoWriMo. Written songs during NaNoWriMo. Um, oh, I have a question. Would any of you ever consider doing NaNoWriMo um, besides Sarah? Have you done it? Would you do it? Do you think it's insane to try and write 50,000 words in a month? Um, I do think it's insane, but it's really, really fun, and I love doing it. Um, so I've got 30 seconds left to talk about my trip to New York. So yay, New York. I was in New York, and I saw six shows, and I met up with three internet friends. Speaking of internet, it was great meeting up with internet friends that I've known for a long time. Two of them actually knew each other, and I didn't know they knew each other, and it was a big surprise. It was awesome. Um, I saw six shows, and I saw Memphis, the 2010 Tony Award winning Best Musical, which was amazing, and American Idiot, which was great, and the cast was fantastic. Um, and then I saw... Um, Bella, which was definitely not my kind of show, but still absolutely fantastic, and I stayed through it afterward and got to, afterwards and got to meet um, an Agnes Scott alum, which was really great, and she was super sweet and really nice. And then I saw La Caja Full, which was incredible, and Robin DeJesus was amazing, um, even better than he was in In the Heights, which is hard to top. Um, Promises Promises was great because Kristen Chenoweth and Sean Hayes and Katie Finneran, who needed to be on, on stage way more than she was, and um, then I saw A Little Night Music, which was 
surprisingly amazing and Lane Stritch was completely fantastic. Burned It Up Peters was out of this world and Leanne Larkin was even better than she was in Gypsy. Um, the music was so Sondheim. It was like I could have cried. It was so good. I love Sondheim. It was unexpectedly hilarious and fantastic. And I'm running out of time so I'm going to end this now and I'm sorry I talked so fast and I will see you all next Wednesday.